All right, got myself some coffee. Damn, that is some nice cold brew. All right, let's get stuck into editing, shall we? Hello? Hey man, the job tomorrow has been cancelled. Again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't know much we can do about it. Client doesn't really want to go you ahead sure? at the moment. Yeah, sorry. Better luck next time. Alright. Fuck it. Cool. Thanks for letting me know, I guess. Sweet. Stay up. <sighs> man, I was really relying on that job. Um, well, got all this extra time. Might go out and see if I can buy a new pair of shoes. Oh, sick. How did I have a sale on? She's a pretty tight. I shouldn't buy it, but fuck it. Okay, well, that was quick. What? How did it? I don't understand how it got here so quickly. Express is really picking up their game, I guess. Oh well. Oh man, these shows are sick. Oh, you know what I should do? I should film a video of these, get some dope B-roll shots. Yeah, 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 and I should add some lifestyle shots in there as well. Uh, seems like too much effort. I'll just get back to editing. What you just saw was an example of spec work. Now, what is spec work? Well, here is a video explaining it. You gotta shoot spec work to show potential clients the type of work you wanna get hired to shoot. You have to show them your voice, your style, something unique. We'll come back to this later. When you're starting out your career, you're probably doing a lot of work for free. I know I did it for a very long time to build my portfolio to eventually start getting paid work. And that in itself is spec work. But you get to a point in your career where you want to advance yourself further and you think to yourself, how am I going to do this? How am I going to go from like, you know, this beginner level to like a mid-level filmmaker? So you just go out there and shoot it yourself. Now there are so many different types of outcomes when it comes to spec work. You can either use it just to expand your portfolio or you can use it to pitch to a very specific type of client that you want to be working with. It really comes down to what you want to achieve. Now, what you just saw, I just bought a pair of shoes that were just generally on sale and I thought to myself, hey, I could make a pretty cool video out of it. So without putting too much thought of it, I just used the camera gear that I had laying around, the lights and like, you know, this black backdrop over here. And I just made a little video just to kind of show you guys an example of spec work and then thought to myself, why don't I just make a whole video kind of explaining everything there is about spec work. If I wanted to, I could approach a small group of friends and be like, hey, I've got this idea for a commercial with Adidas. We should, you know, band together and make like a really high level production. Now, afterwards, I could do one of two things. I could, one, send this to different shoe companies or even Adidas themselves and be like, hey, look at this commercial that I did, you know, really well done production. Uh, how about we work together in the future? Or, you know, any other shoe brand that you kind of want to pitch to. Or you could submit it to just your own personal portfolio in the hopes that you can show a greater audience your skill set. Depending on what outcome you want, this could lead to different things down the track, whether you want to be represented by an agency or, you know, work on high level productions. There is like an mountain of different avenues that you can go. It really comes down to what you want to achieve out of spec work. 
Now, the best example of spec work that I could think of in the filmmaking industry is with Morgan Cooper. If you haven't heard of him, he is a director based out of America, and I found his work on YouTube many years ago, but has now since moved on to work on really big commercials and short films. And one day, out of nowhere, he dropped a trailer for Bel Air. Now, it is like a dramatized rendition of the show Fresh Prince of Bel Air. You might have seen it. It went super viral everywhere. Caught the attention of Will Smith and his team and because of that trailer that he just did on his own bat, he has gone off to be represented by an agent in LA and being able to work with Will Smith and it just really boosted his career. In an interview with Ben Haggerty from Black With No Cream, this is what he had to say about the matter. Uh, it wasn't like kind of like a clout chasing thing at all. Like there was no like, oh, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna get popping, blah, blah, blah. We'll like, see it. Yeah, 100% fan. Right. Like it was at the time, you know, I was making great money as a cinematographer living in Kansas City. Like I loved my life. Yeah. Like, I loved yeah. everything I was doing. It was just a pure thing that I had to express. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And once it hit me, and I called my producer, John, and said, dude, I got this idea. I have to, I have to make this thing. You see what I'm saying? It's like, all right, like I don't know how we're gonna make it because <laughs> like yeah. this is this is gonna cost half a million dollars or whatever. Right. And I'm like, just trust me, like I got it. And so I wrote the outline and you know we ended up making it for like 20k. A very very simple distribution plan, but you know we're gonna put it on YouTube, and the hope was just to generate a little bit of a spark with it. You know what I mean? Like yeah. let, let's put it out there. Let's all just share it on our platforms, and. To be honest with you, it really just caught like wildfire. That's crazy. Somebody like now, I'm not saying go out there and spend 20 grand and hope that you could meet someone like Will Smith and be represented by an agent. I understand that Morgan's case is very, very unique, but there is a pretty big lesson to learn from this and take away from it about spec work. It shows that you can spend money, whether it be 20 grand or you know a few hundred dollars or a thousand dollars even as an investment, and it can advance your career massively. Not long after the Bel Air dropped, he went off to make a short film called You Shoot Videos. Now, I highly recommend you go watch it, especially if you're a new filmmaker or even an experienced filmmaker. It touches very close to home how we have started off all of our careers. But in that video, he explains in a very cinematic way what spec work actually is. And you saw a clip of it earlier, but here is that full scene. Tired of people calling me a videographer. I'm a director, I'm a writer, I'm a cinematographer, I'm a craftsman, I'm an artist, I'm all that. Spec work. Spec work. Yeah, that's what you need, spec work. Yeah, bro, what's spec work? Ah, oh, it's like when you, ah, oh, you know, spec work. Cool, <laughs> tell them about it. You gotta shoot spec work to show potential clients the type of work you wanna get hired to shoot. You have to show them your voice. Your style, something unique. Hmm. Why do they call it spec work? Because it gets you some respect. It's basically a proof of concept to show an idea or to demonstrate a skill set. Now, when you should work on spec, it's unpaid, but it's an investment in your career to create those new opportunities. You got equipment, right? Yeah, I got gear. I mean, y'all know you got the vision, little bro. Yeah, for sure. So shoot some spec commercials and build a portfolio. That way people can see a different side of your work. And they'll know you can handle commercials. Hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. It's really cool that Morgan took this real life example and put it into his own film for a much larger audience to see. And please, again, go watch the rest of the film. It is really spectacular. You're probably watching up to this point and if you still are, thanks for sticking around, I really appreciate it. You're probably thinking to yourself, how can I get started with spec work? Well, what do you have laying around the house that you really enjoy? Do you have a car that you like to drive every single day or a piece of tech that you use all the time? Just go and film that on a small scale with 
whatever you have laying around. I know it's a lot easier said than done, but I'm hoping through this video I can show that you can just go out there and start creating stuff off your own bat to advance your career further. Now, one last example of spec work from my point of view is last year, I was bored one day at home and I had a Hendrix bottle laying around and I really loved gin, so I thought to myself, why don't I just film a little video from it? You know, just got some B-roll product shots out with using this black backdrop over here. And then I shot a couple of lifestyle shots with my wife, put it together, and now that's actually on my portfolio. I then used that video to pitch to other gin and alcohol companies and it got my foot in a lot of doors. I proved to myself and other clients that I could shoot something like this on a much smaller scale and being like, hey, you know, this is just something I did at home. If you gave me money, I could actually do this on a large, larger scale. The last thing I want to say about spec work is that it builds your skills as a filmmaker. Take, for example, the pilot that I just wrote and directed with my good friend Josh. I proved to myself that I could write and direct something of a much larger scale with a longer runtime and there's a lot of transferable skills there to you know larger commercials or short films or whatever it might be so what are you waiting for just go out there and just start creating stuff with your friends and things that you have laying around the house and build your skills as a filmmaker hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like and subscribe i'd really appreciate it have a good one and i'll see you guys next time see ya